we are now ready to look at the share content area, where a lot of the power of the virtual classroom comes in. Uh, so it's the one, it looks like a box with an arrow in it. And we're going to start off with the new and improved whiteboard that just got updated this past week. So let's click in, we get a blank whiteboard, which we can interact with. Uh, might be that a lot of people would prefer to interact with some kind of writing tablet or iPad, something might make it a little easier, but in my case, I'm gonna use a mouse, so hopefully you forgive my very poor drawing. Not that it'd be good drawing anyway. So I got a pen I could draw with, a brush or an eraser. If I'm doing the pen, I can draw, I can choose the color I want right here. I can choose the um, highlight color or fill color. This one's a little weird, might not be as intuitive, but you can see as I draw, it actually fills as well. So for many of you, this might not be useful. I can choose the transparency or how opaque it is, which might be useful if you really don't want it too dark or too, you want to be able to draw on top of something and still see through it. I can also choose the line thickness and I can also choose how I want it to blend, which might be interesting for some people. You can see it actually is blending with the yellow in a kind of cool way. With the T, I can type, I can do text. If I ever want to, I can click on something to resize it, to duplicate it, you saw was an option as well. And moving around, especially with text, that might be useful. Uh, when I click things, I also have the option to make a note so I can actually add a note to this. I could delete that specific thing if I want to. If I also click it and choose to hit the delete key, that'll also let me delete. If I want to delete everything, that would be this one up here. But be careful, you delete, it's gone forever. And finally, I do have some shapes I can make. So I could do a line, arrow, polygon, which might be kind of cool. So I start drawing it out, get progressively more complicated. Uh, again, I have a lot of the same things with color and everything that I want. I can also choose the uh, style of the line, which is kind of neat. So I can do this and make it look pretty cool. And one thing that I will show you for a lot of people that might be useful is the arrow. A lot of people might like the arrow because I can use that as a point, way to emphasize. So maybe I need to show my students, well, this intersection of the lines is very important, or this word is very important. And again, I can choose the different line styles. Do I want an arrow on both ends? Do I want it to be dotted line? I've got quite a bit of power. And one final thing about the whiteboard that is fairly new is that if I get rid of the whiteboard, I stop sharing, I go to something else and come back, my annotations are still there.